Hey, what's going on everyone? Vega here for Serpent X Tech, and in this video we'll be taking a quick look at the Falmanir project. It's a new cryptocurrency project, and while it's five days old on miningpools.stream, it's been around a little bit longer than that on other places, kind of in the, the darkness of the web, so to speak. And I just want to caution you against uh, projects like this until we get some more vetted information, but we're still just going to go over it, because I have been mining it for a little bit. And I'm mining it immediately, uh, you know, executing a trade to try to get it into a different asset that I do want to keep, like Bitcoin, Litecoin, what have you. But follow me here. Uh, the website looks good, but there's some things that kind of throw some suspicious tendencies at me or, or flags at me, so to speak. And they say here, empowering crypto endeavors beyond blocks and change, transcending traditional crypto paradigms our platform embodies a fusion of innovation and dedication crafted with meticulous precision we stand as a testament to the future of digital currency evolution now they are using the kapow algorithm so your kapow or you know raven coin clore those various products that you use to mine uh, or your overclocks will apply the same way again the website looks good it's well put together it's traditional to what we see with with standard crypto products on the website but as i scroll through and i read some of the words and terminologies which i'm not going to uh read to you um you can go check out their white paper and their website which i'll have linked down in the description but as soon as i get down here i start to lose information right so these pictures to me i'm pretty sure and i could be wrong i'm pretty sure if i held up you know the the google search by picture that the pictures we see here are not the individuals themselves but might be somebody else now, if that really is Chloe, uh, she looks beautiful, happy for her, King, uh, I'm not even sure, like, there's no real data to for me to tie into these people. They might be their online names and not their real names, so we don't know what the developers are of the product, and I usually like to investigate. Not all developers should dox themselves, but I'd like to know a little bit more information. They have Discord, uh, Telegram. Uh, GitHub, and then you can send them an email as well. And they have wallets for Windows and Linux, but not Mac just yet. And I will caution you uh, on those wallets. Wait for Yeti.uk to come out with an update, but you could download those. Their social media presence is very small. Again, fresh project. Uh, just got up to 89 followers. When I first looked into it, it was like under 50 followers. And the wallets themselves, while they have the Windows wallet here, when we go to their GitHub, they only have the Linux um, and ARM wallet packages, not the Windows. So it's kind of strange that they don't have the Windows QT here on their GitHub. Maybe they updated it or they will, but you can see King is the one that created this repository. And if we actually go to the, the I think it's pronounced Fulminir project, um, not much activity, right? Besides the initial setup, C++, not much activity. Those same pictures that we see on the website are the same people involved in this product on GitHub. Uh, so if you did install the Windows wallet, install it on a dedicated system that's not tied to anything personal, maybe on a separate network, VM, whatever it might be. Same thing if you use the Linux package until we get some more information from Yeti.uk. Now to find out what pools, obviously our plant is one of the first pools that usually go with these spec mining coins. They were are under 50% uh, network hash rate. Uh, but now they're over 72%. We never want to have one pool have over 51% of the network hash rate. That obviously can uh, be uh, impactful or detrimental of if somebody wants to exploit that. However, this is such a new project. I believe there's no incentive for an attacker to do so. But there's a bunch of pools that you can also mine on. Not some of the ones we're familiar with or the top pools that you and I might flock to for various projects like Caspa, Ironfish, what have you. But our plant is one of them. And to connect, uh, when you go to our plant, dot xyz on the left hand side you see all the various projects you click on full and then we can go to connect and see the website the github uh the explorer and the exchange that supports it we could also see on mining pool stats dot stream at the bottom here that exige or exige i don't know how to pronounce that somebody correct me in the comments um the price is flopping it could be one cent it could be two cent yesterday i saw six cents and that, that varies, but that information is good. So we get about the average and we can calculate what the profitability is on it. I did look up some of the GitHub or wallet links on virus total, which is just the first layer of what Yeti.uk does when they do a deep dive into wallets and whether or not it's safe. Um, 
And it could be just a copy paste situation as we've seen with many wallets where they copied another Kapow type token, uh, the same wallet, changed the name, changed the logo, and that's it. They didn't really clean up the code. And it, even though it may not be malicious, the code not being cleaned up could be problematic in the future. However, I didn't see any issues with the Windows or the ARM QT or the Linux uh, files, at least from the outside looking in, not doing a deep dive. Again, wait for Yeti.UK. Um, if you do set up the wallets on a different machine, that would be the best way to go or a dedicated machine or VM. Otherwise, you could mine to an exchange, but it clearly states not to mine directly to an exchange on our plant or on any on most of these pools. And I agree with that. Do not mine directly to an exchange. However, because I am immediately uh, executing trades as soon as I get the payout, um, I'm not, I do not have a problem with that. However, these exchanges could pick up on that and have a number of users mining directly to them and then they shut it down. Then you don't have access to your funds. So just be careful. So let's look at the profitability of it. Uh, right now, if I put my 7,900 XTX, my 3080 and my 3060 on it, just a few GPUs, nothing too crazy at 15 cent per kilowatt hour. You know, everything is negative when it comes to GPU mining, everything is negative. Um, we're only making a negative uh, 58 cents with Dynex, a negative 29 cents with Sky Doge, negative uh, 56 for Novo, negative 41 for Conceal, so on and so forth. We start getting the 60s, 70s, even a dollar range where we're negative one dollar after the cost of electricity. Um, but it really comes down to just wanting to grab a little bit of this project to see what it's all about. Maybe it might take off. Who knows? Uh, and you can use Hashrate.node's base calculations to identify like what's a good overclock for you. Uh, by going to coins, choosing a Kapow type token like Clore, and then looking at some of the overclocks for your GPU. Say, for example, we're going to choose the RTX 3080, and we can see here, you know, cores left alone. Memory uh, on Linux is 2000, on Windows, 1000, power limit at 250, letting the GPU just run rampant. Kapow is very core intensive and power hungry. Uh, so you want to mitigate that as much as possible on the AMD side of things. If we had like the 6600 XT, you know, you want to set the core clock down to 1350. Uh, you want to set the MEM as low as possible or a 1050 on, on Hive or Linux and then 2100 on Windows. Bring down that voltage as much as stable uh, or as stably as as stable as you can run the card. Sorry. Um, and then you got the BDD and the BDD CI as well voltages. And you can see what, you know, 67 watts for 17.4 mega hash and bz minor is the one i'm using for my nvidia systems or my nvidia gpus um, i believe i am also using it for no i'm using srb for my amd card and i'm using nvidia or bz minor for nvidia you can you always use the configurator here same thing plug in the clocks that you find uh necessary for your setup based upon what you see on hashrate.no or what to mine or maybe you might already have overclocks that you use from other kapow type tokens Pardon the interruption, but just to show you real quick, uh, on BZ Miner and SRB Miner, you won't find uh, a Fulminator project in the batch files, at least on the latest miner. So what you can do is you can just take over another token that uses the Kapow algorithm and then just change that to match you know, the pool that you want to mine to and then optimize or edit the wallet address to whatever it is. Even though it's going to say, you know, Neoxa or whatever token that you choose, like uh, Raven, even though it's going to say that in the batch files, it would still connect and mine uh, just fine on SRB miner. Uh, it's kind of the same thing. I just took over what they had for Raven and then I changed it around to match uh, the pool address and the uh, wallet address that I wanted to use. So just be mindful of that, that some miners won't have... Some miners like BZ Miner don't have it separated by the algorithm. They have it separated by coin and you can just change uh, the pool address and the wallet address in order to get it working and matching just fine. Just a heads up there. Let's get back to what I was saying. Um, just apply that and you'd be good to go. Now, as far as calculating the profitability, uh, we have these GPUs around 130 mega hash thereabouts at 664 watts. Uh, the 7900 XTX is pretty power hungry. Uh, even when dropping it as low as possible in a Windows system, you could do much better in Linux or Hive. Um, it's still sitting around 294, 290, somewhere in there. Uh, the, the 3080, we got it down to the 250. And then the 3060, we could get down to the 90s, but I have it more in the 120, 114 range. And so we're calculating all that. So the block reward, you can get that information from our plant. If you scroll up to the top here, 
we could see that we get 95 um, Fulminir project tokens per block. We could also see the current difficulty. So we could copy that and then go to wettomine.com and just hit enable or click the enable button so that way we can optimize or adjust each uh, parameter differently. And the exchange rate, it, again, it's been bouncing, but if we come down here to the bottom, we can see you know it's around two cents right now. Um, and then we can go to BTC to USD calculations, put that at two cents and then get this number right here. And if you plug that into a calculator, it will uh, you know, hit the equal signs. It will change it for you to what you need. And then this is what we're gonna put in the what to mine calculations for exchange rate and then hit calculate. And what that's gonna tell us uh, since the market is down today is that would be negative 17 cents right now. Uh, one thing I do want to maintain is the cost per kilowatt hour is a little bit different. So we need to make sure that's the same so we can compare hash rate no, dot no to this. And so negative 96 cents at 15 cent per kilowatt hour um, or $1.43 a day uh, before the cost of electricity at $2.39. You compare that against hash rate dot no. Most of these other projects, we're not even making close to a dollar, at least with Fulminir right now because it's a, a, a new coin. Not too many people are on it. It's speculative, speculative mining or spec mining. Uh, yeah, we're making more than we would with some of these other top five tokens, but it's an asset uh, that not a lot of people know about. We don't know the devs. We don't know the background. The white paper might say all the beautiful terms that we care about in the crypto world, but you got to be careful with these projects. Not that the project might be a rug pull, not that it might be a pump and dump or anything like that. Uh, but it's just with new projects, you just want to be careful and take uh, the necessary steps to mitigate any risk. However, uh, you know, it it is something that if you got a good bag of it and then it does take off, it does pump, uh, then you might be able to sell that bag for a decent amount and be able to offset some of the cost of electricity that you would have been paying for uh, if you were mining one of these other projects as well. So a little bit of information about this Fulminir project. Thank you so much for stopping by. Uh, do me a favor on the way out. Hit the like button. Make sure to get subscribed. Hit the notification button to stay up to date as well as check out links in the description where I will link their website, their white paper. Um, and again, caution about the wallets. Make sure you install it on a dedicated system or a VM or something that's not tied to your main network. Uh, otherwise, wait for Yeti.uk. And yes, alternatively, you can mine to an exchange, but I do not recommend that whatsoever. However, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. And I hope you have yourself a wonderful day. Take care. I'll catch you next one. Thank you.